What did you do between um, the heats, the semis, and now into the finals to make sure that you're prepared to go on the podium? Um, definitely hydrating a lot and just making sure I'm mentally focused on the goal, um, staying off my phone, things like that. <laughs> what what okay. did you decide to do at this championship? It seemed like a lot of the American sprinters really haven't put themselves out there yeah. this winter, and, and you have chosen to do so as, as part of your Paris build-up. What, 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 what made into your decision? Um, I mean, me and my coach, we felt like we were at a good place in training, and, um, you know, we said, like, why not? So I'm glad we did. It's been a great experience. What's been clicking throughout the season that's gotten you to all these personal bests and these amazing races? Um, well, this is my second year with my coach, so I think just getting to know each other better, um, our dynamic is awesome. And um, definitely just building on the progress we made last year. We had a few ups and downs with it being my first year pro, um, so just learning as I go. Can you talk about those ups and downs? Of course, first year pro, and I think you all moved from Texas to Arkansas, right? Yeah, we did. Um, the biggest change was just acclimating to the training. Obviously, it's a lot harder than college training. Um, you race a lot less, so that can be a challenge. Um, and we did move to Arkansas, but it's been great. I mean, the facilities are awesome, so I think it was a good choice. And then just competing with Femk, Lika Claver, like, what do you think of the competition and being amongst them? Um, I mean, it's great. They brought out a PBME today, so I'm grateful for that. I'm excited to keep competing against them and um, hopefully win next time, of course, and you know, I'm a competitor. But it's great to compete against the best in the world, so. Yeah.